All right, a quick travel vlog today. We're gonna take the Bonanza out to Nahalem Bay. We're gonna go do some crabbing on a beautiful Sunday in uh, October, so let's go. I'm Steve Cox. I fly fighters, airliners, and general aviation aircraft. I'm into tech, travel, anything that flies, making friends and videos along the way. He's a jeweler making some jewelry, some aviation jewelry. You got any on right now? Yeah, I'm wearing my V-tail. Oh. V-tail. And then a conventional tail. One thing to always watch for flying VFR near congested airspace is you know I got to be under 2300 feet underneath Class C and then there's Hillsboro just to the west I got to be above 2700 feet in short order. Alright I was doing a test here of Apple AirPods to try to record my cockpit audio for the video but as you can see eh, it's not the best. I figured out a better solution. I'll go into that in another uh, video here shortly. If you're interested in doing it, however, drop me a note in the comments below and I'll explain it to you. For now, here's some more audio from the test. So you might be curious what she's wearing. She's wearing the um, Quiet Comfort on the bows, Quiet Comfort 35, with the end flight like, uh, oh, like attachment. Uh, yeah, about 200 bucks or something. So you can get your bows, noise cancelling, uh, music that's set to pair it with a, uh, a prompt mic on another room unit. So we did a midfield entry to check the windsock, did left traffic to runway 33, and ultimately did a low approach just to ensure there was no wildlife on the runway. There's a lot of wildlife in this area, which let's face it, it's one of the reasons that makes these kinds of adventures so rad. The traffic, Bonanza 500 Delta, left facing runway 33, full stop. All right, we made it to the Nehalem Bay, and uh, it's actually pretty awesome. It's paved, it's paved runway, windsock. Uh, other than that, no complaints. It's a beautiful approach. We're gonna go uh, for a quick coastal flight, and then we'll land and go crabbing. Here we go. All the doggies. Still kicking. He's an old guy. Oh. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, it's the cameraman. Cameraman.
Lots of little crabs, no keepers. We'll get them. Cruise keeper! Proof! Woo! <laughs> Wait, is it a male? Oh, know. we didn't even look. Damn it! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, at least, lady. At least you didn't kiss a boy. I know. Oh, man, it's a lady. <laughs> oh, bye. Not gonna die today. It's a male. Yay. No, no, no. No, no just barely. Really? You want it? Just a little more work. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Mail this time. Finally. He does not have the uh, heart. There it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you might want to hold it from the front. Oh, okay. Do it. Want one? Sure. Ooh. It's actually really tasty. I know, it's really good. I needed it again. The stock. <laughs> 10 the out of 10. The stock of it is weird. Yeah. Once you eat it, it's delicious. Nice. That's really good. One of my favorite parts when you push some of this stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> Never gets old. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Mm. Some of our labor. Your labor, not ours. Phil's <laughs> <laughs> labor. Yeah. Well, we obviously lucked out with some amazing fall weather in the Pacific Northwest. As far as the airfield goes, just amazing. I told you there was some wildlife. Big old buck with a bunch of elk. So a nice paved runway, decent parking with some good tie downs, some basic facilities with a restroom. There's camping, I hear there's showers even, and you can even walk to the campground from the airfield and then, then from there you can walk to the beach. So I'm excited to try that very, very soon. God, what a great day. The Halem Bay State Park with the airfield on it. The town you take off to the north over is Manzanita across the bay it is where we went crabbing out of a place called Kelly's Brighton Marina. You will need a car or a truck to get over there. All in all, pretty sick day. Capped off by this golden hour flight by Bridgetown on our way back to Troughdale. <laughs>